Hey guys, Abhi here. Wonder how when we shoot a video handheld and the footage is a bit shaky like this, it doesn't really look good. And even when we use the stabilizer from the inspector tab, it still doesn't work and it looks unprofessional. So today we are going to learn to stabilize a video using the tracker tool. So let's get started. So at first we are going to select the clip and then we'll go to the fusion tab. After that we are going to click on shift and spacebar and we are going to include the tracker. To start the tracker make sure that you go to the first frame. Now position the tracker to the object you believe it's gonna work fine. So in my case what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the tracker over my nose. The smaller box is choosing what you're tracking and the bigger box is where DaVinci Resolve is going to look for the tracking object. Don't make the bigger box too big otherwise your system is going to slow down and don't make it too small either. After that we are going to click on track forward and we will let it render. Okay here we go. Let's try to play the video from the start. And now you can notice that the tracker hasn't done anything to the video, the video still looks the same. It is because we haven't put any data onto the tracker. So the next step is we'll go to the operation tab and then we will click on match move. The tracker node is like merge node, you have background and you have foreground. And you might have seen a lot of text tracking videos where you put the text in the foreground and your video is in the background. But over here we don't really have any foreground so what we are going to do we are just going to click on background only. Now the tracker is following the movement it's zooming in and some of the frame is being cut off and we notice that the video looks a bit weird therefore we have to scale up the footage. In order to fill the frame you can go to the edges option and try one of these. When you click wrap it is just going to fill the frame with the left video. Similarly when you click duplicate it's just going to duplicate the remaining part of the video like this. Lastly if you use mirror it's just going to create effect like this. I mean you can use these as per the need but I want to maintain the character of the video so I'll prefer zooming in the video. And for that I'll press the shift and space button and add the transform node. After adding the transform node we'll go to the inspector tab and increase the size. Let me increase it to um, 1.25 or 1.3. As we can see it is not enough. So let me increase it to 1.35. Okay and we can see that the whole frame is covered. Now we go to the edit tab and I'll play the video. Alright we can see that how the footage is logged onto my face and it is not shaky anymore and creating a cinematic effect. Of course since the video is zoomed in and you're gonna lose some part of the video. And you can always go back and delete those keyframes which aren't working properly. It's a cool effect and honestly I've seen this in many movies and music videos. Alright guys this is pretty much it for today, hope you guys liked it. I'm coming up with more DaVinci Resolve tutorials so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.